Good afternoon. It is May the 31st, end of the second month of the second quarter. And um, we were guessing that we might close at around 2405 uh, in the evening. We'll see if that actually um, transpires. We'll start with our disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations and like an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as a lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. So. Uh, we came in this morning and uh, we got through, uh, I think, three trades in the E-mini. Either one of these trades um, would have worked uh, for anywhere from seven, I mean, nine to 11 points, exiting on that bar's close right there, depending on which one that you took. Uh, we were able to take this trade in the room and then the um, market had just gone flatline since then. And we usually get one move in the E-mini. Uh, and we have our best trading opportunities come when the market sells. And so our best trading opportunity, it, it increases the volatility. It gives us a, another way to make some money. And that's what happened today. Looking at our F1 screen, outside day traded. Looking at uh, our F2 screen. Definitely a B, and we'll see if we get a second distribution out of the middle here in the M period. But right now, we'd be looking for a place to sell it. So if the market were to close right here at 8, we'd be trying to sell 9 to 11 and 14 to 17 for sell 2. Our buy would be 2400, 2402, leaning against this morning's support, 95 to 97 for buy 2. We have news tomorrow. It's the first day of the month. Motor vehicle sales. 16.9 can come in lower than forecast. ADP 170. The motor vehicle sales aren't out until noon. ADP comes out at um, 8.15. Jobless claims 239. PMI manufacturing 53. ISM Manufacturing 54.6. Construction spending half a percent. That never makes, that never hits its numbers. Nat gas, don't know. Crude oil inventories, don't know. So um, the news focus will be ADP number one, ISM Manufacturing number two. And for crude traders, uh, the crude oil inventories. Uh, this number, motor vehicle sales, isn't out till fully out until noon, so that will have uh, less impact. But it will be a part of um, uh, the next day's trading. Okay, uh, we'll be trading the June contract and the 10-year tomorrow. That goes front. It actually traded front today, but we didn't roll. We don't roll until tomorrow. So higher low, higher high. Find a place to buy it on the F1. Uh, we're going to have a P on our F2 screen. Pretty strong. So, um, sell one 19 to 23, 27 to 31. If the E mini sells, looks like it's going to sell tomorrow. We don't want any part of the uh, uh, short side of the market. The buy side, uh, 9 to 13, and 1 to 5.
looking at the 30 year definitely a P not quite as strong as the 10 year um, our second cell was 28 structurally unfortunately the high was 28 so we did not fill there our first cell was 21 structurally I got a 6 plus 30 seconds so again knowing where to put the trades knowing how to trade structure really can help your bottom line and it gives us a couple extra trades trades aren't there every day but when we have gaps like this we know where to place the order so 24 28 number one sell 31 to 03 sevens to 11 sell 2 on the buy side, 12 to 16, number 1, 5 to 9, buy 1, 29 to 01, buy 2. Hope you all are enjoying yourself and learning a lot. That's the purpose. Turn you into a trader, give you the knowledge that you need to do it. Uh, I don't think there's a site out there that goes to the as in depth as we do as to what are the driving forces, what are the dynamics behind. And the reason we do that uh, is to help build your confidence, let you recognize this phenomena or dynamic, and help you make a trade. looking at gold higher low higher high we can buy it we got up above 75 our second sell zone are this morning and looking at f2 uh, so 75 77 sell one still have a nice p behind us and we're still moving higher than uh, 79 81 sell two Stops above 1300 if we can get through 75 would be the next stop. The buy side, 69 to 71, buy one. 65, 67, buy two. What was interesting in the beige book, uh, the jobs are there. We are uh, skilled work we, we don't have the skilled workers we need to fill a lot of jobs and the two biggest um, failings in the job testing were drugs and math and you can point right to our public education our government controlled education for that um, when the feds got involved in the late 60s that's when our educational system peaked and it's been headed downhill ever since. And no one has ever held accountable uh, for this. And all I, you know, the solution is give us more money and smaller class size. And then, but what you do get is um, kids with a lot of self esteem. How is that going to help you in the workforce? Lower high, lower low in crude oil. Find a place to sell it. Uh, we have a P put in backwards, that's short covering, did not rally the market. So 4825 to 4850, sell one. 4875, 49, sell two. 4750, 4775, buy one. We have the APIs tonight, they're playing like there's going to be a build. 47 even, 47 and a quarter, buy two. And the euro. Talk now is that the euro is undervalued. That's a uh, big switch, isn't it? Last two years, all we've heard is that the uh, euro is going to par. So higher low, higher high. Uh, 1275, 113 even would be the next stop. And 
how everybody's screaming about the United States withdrawing from the Paris climate control, which is a way for crony capitalists to make lots of money. Okay, um, 1250, 1260, sell 1. 1275, 1285, sell 2. The buy side, 1225, buy 1. 112, even buy 2. And that's it for this last day in May of 2017. See you bright uh, and early uh, in the morning. Uh, Y'all have a great evening. We'll be back at it again in the morning.